guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name's Ella. I film fun college lifestyle beauty and now summer videos. Um, you should definitely stick around and subscribe. Hit the button down below. You should definitely hit the notification bell because YouTube is super rude and doesn't like to put things in people's subscription boxes. But anyway, you're here to see all of the products I use to stay a glowing bronze goddess during the summer. So if you want to see that, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, first, I'm sorry I don't have any makeup on. I just came from the doctor's office and I was going to the dermatologist, so I just didn't feel like putting makeup on there to take it off anyway. But yeah, um, also if you're wondering, the top is from, I believe, uh, American Eagle. Um, so first product I want to start with, or I guess explanation, is these are just products I use. I know a lot of these may not work for you and like vice or products you like may not work for me. Please just don't be like rude or judgmental if like I like this product and you hate it, like kind of disclaimer. Um, these are just products I found that look really good in summer and in um, like natural bright sunlight. Um, just for an FYI, that's why I'm filming in front of my window today. Um, so, what I want to start off with, um, for summer, you always need to be hydrated. That's why I always have a water bottle on hand. I just finished one, so I'm on my second one. Um, I usually like to use the reusable water bottle, but um, it's in the dishwasher. And I really like these. You can get them at Walmart. They're just flavored water. They're zero calories. It's a full liter, so if you're trying to track how much you drink and if you... Um, don't have like time to go like wash your reusable water bottle like you're just on the way to like work or something you have time walmart these are really good it's a full year um okay first products or there's two i want to start with um sorry i have them laid out on my bed i don't want to feel like a desk or something because i feel like that'd be distracting they're the Sol de janeiro they're listed as like the bum bum cream well this one's the bum bum cream this one's the acai power cream so this one um this is really good if you're gonna like you put this on after you're out in the sun all day it smells so good Ooh, i have the cap this is probably like my fifth one i've gone through oh why can't i open this so embarrassing okay okay there we go it's just like a yellow color smells so good i wish i could show you guys how this smells through the screen you can buy it at sephora or online through their website i do always link all the products down below if you are wondering everything is always linked down below in all of my videos um this is just really good if you've been in the sun all day i have really bad stretch marks all through my legs because when i was younger my legs grew and the rest of me didn't so they stretched and they got pretty bad stretch marks and after the if you put this on like before the gym it can kind of diminish the look of stretch marks um i definitely noticed mine have started to fade um like if i put like some sort of cream on before i work out and after and i the reason i'm bringing this up is because in natural sunlight you can't hide anything so this is just really great to get in the habit of using and then this one is the acai power cream it's a purple color it's by the same brand it smells like really clean i don't know if they have like a scent description uh there is inside of each of the mini ones is 2.5 fluid ounces they last you a while um i just buy the mini ones just so i could they're easier to travel with but they do have a really large tub if you're looking for that um it doesn't say the scent but it smells just really clean um it is like a pinky purple color it kind of smells like a mix of like fruity and like like it makes it like assorted fruit and like or maybe dragon fruit or something like that um this is just really good to put on um like if you're going out after you've been in the sun because it does have a little bit of a sparkle in it i'll try some so you guys can see Got a little on the back of my hand let's close this okay uh i don't know if you guys can tell kind of maybe it shines just a little bit or I don't know if you can tell but yeah it's like sparkly in the sunlight speaking of sparkle i have three products i want to show you first one this is the pacifica 
coconut glow shimmering hair and body mist i like this because you can use it in your hair and it makes your hair smell really good um one thing i'm a huge beach girl i love being in the ocean but i live close to galveston so the water there always smells a little funky so this is really good to keep your hair smelling super nice if you go into restaurants or anything like that and it also is glittery so here we go i don't know if my camera is picking it up but here, you can see in the bottle, it is fairly glittery. Oh. Hey guys, I'm so sorry it stopped filming. I tried to like readjust for the lighting. Um, but this is just, you. I like this because it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. It's five fluid ounces. You can get this at Target um, and it smells, it smells really good. It's coconut scented, coconut and vanilla. So I feel like those are really basic scents, but they're good for the summer. And it just, and I feel like if you're not into like a ton of glitter, but you still want to look like glowy and you, but like, I guess more like casual, um, this is a really good option. Next, um, glittery item. I'm so extra. When I go to the beach, I have a full layer of like body oil, glitter, like, Maybe, I usually don't wear makeup, but I always have some sort of glitter, like shimmer or something. And for your lips, obviously you want to even it out throughout your body. So I like to use the Fenty Beauty, uh, it's the Fenty Blow Glow, yeah, Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. And I'll just swatch that. This is really good. It lasts for a while. It's sticky, but it's not a gross sticky. It's like a nice, comfortable moisturizing. So here's the color on me, and then I feel like I'm doing these swatches injustice. Like, I'm not a good swatcher, and I'm so sorry for that. But if you, I feel like Fenty's like really well known now, um, or Fenty Beauty is, if you don't know, it is owned by, or owned and created by Rihanna. So like all of the products are super pigmented. They're friendly to all skin tones, whether you're super pale, or you're like dark like me or even like deep dark like like a Lupita Nyong'o like color so they're super like color friendly to everyone so that is one really good thing about her gloss bombs is the one I just have is like a universal glow like it looks good on everyone my mom even has Fenty Beauty and she's um she's a lot lighter than I am she's like or if you guys don't know, I'm adopted. Um, my mom's like a Blake Lively color and it still looks really good on her. So that's like, I guess for reference information. Um, next glittery product, I cannot do a glow video without mentioning Fenty Beauty. Literally the body lava is like, I feel like such a staple and beauty like nowadays. Sorry if I look out the window, there's like people like driving by staring at me because I'm just, looks like I'm talking in front of my window because like I have bushes that like cover the camera but anyway it's the Fenty Beauty uh I have the body lava and who needs clothes um I really want the one that's like the like deep dark bronze color but they're always sold out but I got this one and I love it I've had it for um a little over a year now I'll do it on my shoulder so you just need like one pump to do your entire arm I like to actually use a sponge to put it on this is a just an equal tools Eco tool sponge. It got fuzz on it from my bed, but I don't know if you guys can see. I will insert pictures of me like close up and like a video of me close up with the gloss bomb. Okay, here's this shoulder and here's this shoulder. I don't know if you can tell. Can you? Like, okay, yeah, you can tell a lot more. I'm sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder so much. I'm trying. To see if like you guys can see like the Fenty. Okay, here's this shoulder compared to this one. I feel like this one is like way shinier. It's definitely way shinier and full of glitter in person. I wish you guys could see it. I'm gonna insert just a clip of me with the Fenty Beauty here. Okay, now that you've seen that, um, this is just my number one go-to product. I 
stan the body lava it's something i can now that i've had it i never want to live without it i wear it for every single event i bought this originally for my senior prom um if you want to see pictures look at my instagram it's linked down below um shameless plug but uh i will never not have it i wear it for photo shoots events my sorority formals if i'm going to the beach going to see my man's like anytime you need to look like good this is it like and it comes in like multiple different shades like there's a glow for everyone what's it gonna do so that's just something i like um okay next two these are kind of body oilish or they are body oils this one is just an after sun spray lotion it's from bath and body works it's the honolulu sun it's just like a spray and then you wipe it in it's just a lotion it does give you a little bit of a sheen um it smells like coconut and like do you, if you know the candle like island nectar meets sunscreen it's like the three of those come together this is really good um i'm really dark so i don't have to worry about sunburning or anything but i do always wear sunscreen and i will always recommend everyone to wear sunscreen no matter how light or how dark you are um yeah, and I will be showing the hyperallergenic sunscreen I use later in the video if you are sensitive to sunscreen like I am. Uh, this is just really good if you've been out all day, like swimming, at the beach, at the pool, at work, like whatever you do. This is just really good to put on after you get out of the shower. It makes your skin feel so nice, so refreshed. Like, it's almost like, feels like it's cooling down when you put it on. Or I guess that's what an after sun does, but... I really like it. It's Bath and Body Works. It smells good. Way better than putting, I feel like, aloe on because I feel like this smells so good. So there's that. If you're trying to be that bitch at the beach, this is for you. It's the Victoria's Secret Weightless Body Oil. Uh, it's the, it smells like, that's clearly not opening, Ella. Okay. It kind of smells like vanilla meets cotton candy kind of like that uh i'll put that on this shoulder Ooh. okay and then like you can like see on camera like it literally just makes you glow so much it makes you look like your skin's almost like wet like you just stepped out of the water like one of those like Baywatch girls or something like it just looks so good it photographs so well like if you're trying to like find a man at the beach or something or a girl what are you into no bias here on this channel but like if you're trying to find someone this is it like this is what you use like drip like drench your body in this 10 out of 10 like it smells good it doesn't transfer on your clothes it's let me rub that in more but like it doesn't transfer it's not sticky the smell is not overpowering and there's no glitter just straight shine it has two caps so i guess that's good if you're worried about it spilling in your bag but the victoria's secret weightless body glow definitely a recommend from me i have not had this long and you've already can tell i've used that much so i've maybe only used this once or twice already so i really like it um next is um if you do wear makeup and you're out and about and you want to always look glowy i recommend always keeping a setting spray on you one that i like that i do put like to travel um is the color pop amber uh, crystal setting spray um here's just what it looks like um i don't know if my camera is picking it up i'm gonna try and focus it there we go okay so it's just, just really good to always mist on your face. I like setting sprays because it does give your skin like it looks like wet almost. And I like that look. I like the look of looking like I just got out of the water like a mermaid kind of. So I really like this. Um, and ColourPop is really inexpensive. Most of their, pretty much all of their products start at $5. Nothing is really going to break the bank with ColourPop. So and I believe they are a U.S. owned brand, so you've, if you live in the States, shipping should be really fast. So, um, this is just really good. And just a bottle this size is 1.86 fluid ounces, and I've had this for maybe, I feel like a year. 
maybe a year. I just take it when I go to the beach and it's lasted me super long and I really like it. And here, I'll spray some now. I don't have any makeup on, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it does like, and it just feels good to spray stuff that's like not ocean water on your face in my opinion. Like I love swimming in the ocean, but I don't like, like if I'm in a boat and it like sprays my face, I'm like, oh, I'm blind, like it's not water. So it feels good to kind of spray something not like that on your face, so. Kind of just blend it in. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like you can only tell a little bit, like maybe on the tops of my cheeks that they look just a little, oh, okay, there we go. You can kind of see the highlight-ish. I really should have put makeup on for this video, but I literally just came from the dermatologist and I was like, let's film a video. So yeah, okay. I have two more products. I promise I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Um, it's another Fenty product. If you like to wear makeup when you're out and about, this is the beach like look. This is I am sunset. This is like I am a goddess look. And I'll just show you. It's a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil. Can you not tell me these products do not scream tropical beach? And like this orange one, like all over your entire body. Hold on, let me use the mirror for this. Like the orange one all over your entire body, like on your collarbones. Okay, obviously it's not blended, but like, it's so pretty. Okay, let's see if I can actually do a swatch. Kind of. I feel like it's not doing justice because there's like clouds, so you can't see it outside. But it's so pretty. If you are ever in Sephora, you can tell where I dig into it. But if you're ever in Sephora, 10 out of 10, do recommend these products. And I'll just go ahead and swatch the pink one. I'm not a good swatcher. I'm so sorry, Rihanna. I need to get better okay the pink one showed up really nicely okay now i feel like you can tell like these products like this is so good like i've had this since it came out i don't know when it came out but it will be linked down below because i know it's still on their website because i've checked just in case if i've ever lost this because this is a summer like staple for me i put this on like my like this like every year when we go to destin we get family pictures but this year like we're actually getting a photographer so i'm gonna need to actually look like a real human and i was like this is gonna be like my look like a beautiful sunset like i just got out of the water and i'm a mermaid like with big curls like it's gonna be a look so if you want to see that follow me on instagram link down below um sorry just had to put that in there but for real if you guys do want to see any of these in action i um, am going on vacation. We'll be taking all these products with me and, um, I'm leaving tomorrow. So you guys will see it. Uh, but deal. And then if you go to my Instagram, you'll be able to see like all of these, like on my day-to-day -day use. Um, but this is so pretty. Like if you do the orange in your inner core and like the pink almost as like, like a smoky, like you're trying to do like a smoky eye, like make it like wing out. It looks so good. Um, just really good beach colors and they photograph really well so this and then this is the anastasia beverly hills glow kit and sun dip funny story behind this i when this came out i went crazy i am like a serious like hoe for anastasia beverly hills like her highlighting like quads i really like them this is my favorite one um but i own the one that's like kind of like a pinkier like rose shade i don't know what it's called but i'll find it um <coughs> i'm sorry okay i'm so sorry i just switched to another clip because i had to sneeze and it just wasn't cute but anyway this is this glow kit by anastasia beverly hills and sun dip my story behind this was i went to sephora the day like this came out and like once they said it was available in stores and i was like oh my gosh i'm looking for the anastasia beverly hills glow dip like powder and she was like and the girl in sephora was like oh my gosh like here's like the display of it and i like buy it and then i walk out and i realized i bought like the older version and i was like this this is not it like this isn't what i wanted and i go back and i tell them they're like what are you talking about and i'm like no and i pull it up on like a picture like online and they're like oh my gosh they had a complete different display out 
than this. Like, they didn't have the right display out. Like, I could have looked at the wrong palette. Like, it's such, like, a small, minuscule thing, but it's, like, I could have been so sad if I didn't have this. I've had this for years. Love it. Comes on every single vacation, whether it's winter or summer. Like, look at these colors. I've dipped into them a lot. Okay, I'll just... Um, if you guys ever watch Jackie Ina, she she swatches everything on her chest because it's like the closest shade to your face. So I figured might as well do that. Um, so I'll go ahead and swatch these and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I ended up just getting some makeup remover. I wanted to swatch it on camera just um, because I just wanted to keep this video like pretty honest. Like I don't want to like, like have you ever seen those videos where people... Um, like swatches are fake like I don't want anyone to think that I'm doing that so I'm sure let's just swatch it on camera for you I'm sorry I don't have a third earring in I didn't realize that till halfway through filming but I figured I might as well keep it um so I'm gonna go in first with the color tum tourmaline tourmaline it's t-o-u-r-m-a-l-i-n-e I've as you can tell this is the least touched color on my palette okay we'll go in right here they're all like really bright um and they shine really well um these are actually uh spots i just got burned at the dermatologist this morning so please cut me some slack with not having makeup on it was a very stressful morning um next i'm gonna go into moonstone if you are more on like a tan side like a uh adriana lima or a J J Lo kind of shade this is gonna look good on you like good uh okay so this is moonstone i don't know if i said that okay go in right here um moonstone is a bit lighter um these are definitely the two shades if you have like a lighter complexion they're gonna look good on you but even if you are dark i feel like with the right blush like topper this would look good so i'm gonna wipe my fingers off next i'm going in with the color summer I don't mean to flip anyone off. I just end up doing it with my middle finger. Okay. Summer is a more golden shade. I don't know if you can tell. I'll go ahead and wipe off the orange off my collarbone so then it doesn't, like, distract from the highlight. Okay. So here is um, Summer. And then my most used shade, which is Bronzed. Okay. Like a yeah okay like if you are like deep dark or like my shade darker bronzed is gonna look good on you like in the summer like walking like up to the beach to order like a snow cone and just like having this like nice like line like cut like bronzed like ooh, fire so good so this is the anastasia beverly hills i'm just gonna do you ever do that, like, just when you have a makeup wipe, wipe down whatever palette's in your hand at the moment? Um, so this is the Blonde Glow Kit. And last but not least, most important thing to have in the summer, sunscreen. I am extremely allergic to spray sunscreen. I don't know why. Um, I've gone to, like, different doctors, do derm dermatologists. I've done it all. I'm allergic um, so the only one that I've found that don't work me out, if you are very sunscreen sensitive, this may work for you. I recommend trying it. I would try it just on a patch of your arm before you try it on your face. Um, I like the Aveeno, um, lotion one. I think it's SPF 50. I will link it down below. And I religiously use, I have like, I've gone through like 10 of these. And I also have the big one, but it's already packed away for my trip to Florida. If you want to see Florida, follow me online. You already know the drill. Uh, it's Super Goop. Um, it's the Play. It's SPF 50, water resistant up to 80 minutes, sun defying sunscreen oil with meadow foam, broad spectrum S SPF, SP SPF 50. It's um, one fluid ounce in a year. Um, I just use the small ones on my face and I have a big one for my body. I put this in my purse swim bag um and when i was in college i had it in my backpack i am do i'm super afraid of getting wrinkles and skin cancer can get anyone skin cancer doesn't discriminate so sunscreen always 
Um, this, for some reason, doesn't break me out. I think it's because it's like a solid oil version. And I believe this is hyperallergenic. This was recommended to me by um, my aunt who, uh, she used to work in the makeup industry and she worked with a lot of different skin types. And she said a lot of her clients used this. And then I was like, oh, okay. And I tried it. Yeah, I liked it. So anyway, sunscreen. No matter what sunscreen you use, please use some sort of sunscreen um, just to protect your skin and always protect against wrinkles, aging, skin cancer, sun, like you get like the little sun dots on your arms. Um, so I just really recommend sunscreen at all times. So, yeah, if you guys have stuck through this video, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. I never thought I would get over 100 subscribers, let alone, like, completely blow 100 out of the water. I'm almost at, like, 1, I think I'm almost at 140, which is just, like, a big deal to me. Just because I never thought, like, I would see, like, even get a subscriber on YouTube. I just thought I'd try it just because I really liked Instagram and my friends were like, you should try a different platform, like try something new. And thank you so much to everyone who is super encouraging and positive. It means a lot to me just because the internet can be a very negative space when it's used incorrectly. But when used correctly, it's fun and happy and it's a way to just share your life and your memories and fun things just for everyone. Um, yeah, if you want to see more of me, you should definitely subscribe down below. Um, and hit the notification bell. I post five times a week. Um, probably going to be even more now because I'm going to be on vacation soon, not working. So it's going to be great. Tons of travel vlogs and things like that up. I also have a college playlist. Um, I know a lot of people liked my college videos. So I do have a playlist linked down below. And it just means the world if you guys would join our little fam here. So give this video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know to put my video out to more people and everything so thank you much thank you so much to everyone for watching and i hope you all have an awesome morning afternoon or night wherever you are